Hi there, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Challenge Mode. After some uh, difficulties clearing a couple of the assaults in the last episode, today I am uh, back at it with uh, the remaining assaults. So there is two assaults in progress uh, that are left in uh, all of Westbrook, if I'm reading my map correctly anyway. And uh, there are a couple of organized crime activities. And uh, after that, uh, that's it as far as uh, those types of gigs are, con well, those types of side missions would be more accurate to say are concerned for Westbrook. Actually, there's a reported crime here. I'm guessing this one came up as, um, as a result of one of the other ones I cleared last time. And after that, uh, well, we'll see where we go. But uh, first things first, I want to handle those two assaults. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be tackling the organized crime activity today or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, might as well clear the assaults. So I travel to the site of the first one and it appears that I'm standing too close for one thing. One of those guys is starting to get a little, uh, a little suspicious. Uh, their trigger finger is starting to be a little itchy. Let's see, BD551C. Yeah, I'm just gonna back up, shall I? Two tiger claws, three, four that I cannot mark. Well, there seems to be a lot of these guys. What is this place even? Industrial area underneath an overpass. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Let's see, can I actually climb up here? One of the many, many times that I wish I had a van. Park it here. No, okay, I guess that is off limits. Okay, net runner, regular tiger, racketeer. A lot of these guys are not going to be too much of a challenge. Speaking of actually, one of them decided to walk away. Yeah, you should definitely check that out. Definitely. walked away. I definitely missed a tiger claw right there. Alright, I've taken care of a couple. Unfortunately, there are more here than I thought there would be. Big area, they send a lot of muscle. So obviously they're looking for something, but who knows what, what they're actually looking for. Now this one is a level below, shouldn't see me. No, I didn't hear that, unfortunately. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much uh, my view on the matter. Right, she is actually going to come up here. That's good, that's good. 
I was afraid she was going to be looking at it from below. Oh, crap. Crap, I fell. Uh, I totally had her and then I fell off the thing. Let's try it again. Yes, same radio. I'm gonna path a different way here, just to mess my plan up. No, she'll path the same way. That's something. And just in case, reboot optics. I've been uh, detected more times than I care to admit. Coming at somebody from the side. Okay, once again, just... Oh my goodness. Oh, great. Screw you, lady. Seriously. Standing by this ledge. Oh, great. And they're now all looking for me. Yeah, job accomplished. Good job. This is the kind of dumpster that's already full. Hey buddy, check that camera again. Or what? Really? Insufficient RAM. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That is that is more than fine. Done. Bumped into him lightly, then my prompt disappeared. Yeah, all right, buddy. I think that's enough. Getting in the perfect positions on these little. Uh, Catwalks is actually more difficult than uh, it seems like it should be. Wow, we even have a, um, a hostage. That is not a box that I can put this one in. Alright buddy, just give me a second and should have this nicely wrapped up. Alright. You're good to go, sir. You are good to go. Guessing this was security for this area. This guy's basically just rammed uh, Ran the gate and um, ran over a couple of guys, and that was it. That's all she wrote. I actually connected that thing, but I ain't got the time for that. Also, these guys cannot even be looted. Ram upgrade, no thing to come out. 
Okay, I'll take that. This way the Jonin or the Netrunner was. Let's see. Kaneto Saito. Usually for a conversation you need like two different people, but this one is more of a monologue. There's no room for some BD gear, so we better deliver, right? And it's gonna go smooth, doesn't it? Plan is you'll grab the truck with the BD scrollers in gear, I'll be right by fourth wall studio just sitting there. You go tomorrow, take down the guards, but do not hit the truck. Gear's gotta be in condition. Let me remind you, that is some top shelf stuff. All it needs is a few scratches and it'll be worth nothing. I don't think that's true, but um, I don't know if you say so. Let's see, can I drive this car out of here? And take it to, wow, what kind of a GPS path is that? Terrible driver. Okay, this is not gonna work. That. Good luck getting that car out of there, guys. Just good luck. Get on my motorcycle. Why does it? Why doesn't it actually drive to my location? It just sits there. Is it because I wasn't directly next to the road, but in a sort of a slightly off-road area, and. Uh, the bike guidance system was like, well, I, I don't know how to do that. Which was pretty much my reaction when I had to drive that uh, awesome car out of, oh. Out of that parking lot just a second ago. It's going to be the first time in a long time that I've had the um, ability to scout from an elevated position. So, more Tiger Claws. Obviously, no surprise. These guys control Westbrook. And that's what Kako has had dealings with them. I imagine they're both a big client and possibly a big target in this area, so if any fix are worth their salt. Worth what? Did um Okay. I, I don't know how I fell through the roof. I cannot target any of those guys. They don't see me. I can't actually target anything. Am I in a, uh, I'm in some kind of an area where I'm not supposed to be. This guy just shot somebody. Okay, you know what, let's, let's not fall further down. See, I was looking in this direction. I was like, oh yeah, this, this is normal. This is normal, but no, it's not. There's an invisible wall there. And that's why I cannot target anything. Wonderful. All right, I will be back in a little bit. And we are back after that uh, glitch that saw me plummet from that roof, through the roof, through the ground, in some area that I guess I was never meant to be. Now, we do have four baddies. Two of them are essentially guarding the perimeter, and two of them look like they actually have a hostage. One of them is making threatening motions towards somebody that I can't even see. Okay, these guys are trying to get past the car. I was actually able to get the, the car out of out of the parking uh, this time. Now, fortunately, that's too far away for you, isn't it? All right, there is a camera there. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, this guy definitely is preparing to shoot somebody. And however, I have successfully distracted him. 
Yo, oh. Keep talking, just keep talking to me. And this guy's a top. I've done over 700 damage to this guy and it just wasn't enough. Oh boy, man, these missions are really pushing this build. <laughs> Why am I even calling it a build? They're really pushing this uh, playthrough to the limit. I'm trying to keep civilians out of harm's way. I'm trying to uh, take on these guys, but in these tight quarters, I mean, look at this place. It's essentially one corner and each one of, of the guys here pretty much has visibility on everybody else. I mean, yeah, technically this guy and that guy have their backs turned. But the moment there's any kind of a commotion, you better believe they're going to be looking at those two. This guy has somebody in their crosshair, so I have to distract them, otherwise that guy is probably dead. And there is a person right there, just to make things extra difficult, that is looking at this guy. So I need to somehow, and, and of course I don't have visibility on them to blind them, so I have to somehow do an area assault in which I move this guy out of the way so he doesn't shoot somebody. He's too tough to blind, even with breach protocol. I have to blind that person potentially without causing a commotion with these two, grab this guy, knock him out, grab her, knock her out before these two even know anything is up. And it'd be amazing if I could get this guy to like, for example, go to that machine, maybe this guy to that machine, drop behind her, but no, it's just not gonna work. So what can I actually do? I need this guy to go somewhere and check something out. That sounded as vague as possible. Yes, go somewhere and check something out. Sure. Wish I could get on the radio with him and tell him to do that. Uh, distract enemies. Who would that distract? Yeah, of course he's going to distract that guy. He is the closest. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Right, let's uh, control this thing. Oh boy. Yeah, right. Right, right, right. An episode not too long ago, I was saying, oh, I'd hate to be the guy who was looking the, through the camera when uh, he started doing this, and then <laughs> I just did exactly that. Okay, yeah, go back. Now, if I break this chain, I think this guy is already dead, so it's not going to make any difference as far as he's concerned. Break this chain. Distracts that guy. I need to distract this guy with the gun. But it, all the distractions are too far away from him. I don't have anything at all in here that I can use as a distraction. Oh, this guy's looking the wrong way. Yeah, where was that other camera? Actually, this one has stopped. Oh, I just chose the wrong the darn option. Oh, I'm so used to hitting the distract that, what? I wanted to get on top of the railing, not vault over it. Oh, why is that this? You know what, never mind. Just. Never mind. Why am I asking stupid questions? Yes. It is the same. It is the same thing. Just deal with it. All right. Camera control. Please. Let's do camera control. Yeah. This guy. Blitzer. Can. Well, I could generally reboot optics on her. I could, okay, I think our plan is actually coming into effect. Okay, don't chase. Half the time I'm fighting with the controls, it feels like. Okay, that should be... A cue for this guy. Crap. You wanna play? No, I don't want to play. And here we are back again. I think I know what I have to do now, but 
Famous last words, right? Let's see how it's actually going to... It's playtime. No, it's not. Reach protocol. 1C, 1C, 1C. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now go check that out. Reboot her optics. Ah, crap. Except he went to check it out from the worst angle possible. Oh, and she's already spotting me. Are you serious? I guess that is one plus of having blaring music all the time. Those two guys didn't hear a, a thing. Alright, I I gotta admit, I don't know how that actually worked, but you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna complain. It worked, that's all that matters. Let this guy walk through the bike, come on. You can do that. Easy peasy now. Those situations in which I'm trying to keep uh, random, random people alive, they are definitely tough. Yeah, I know. Who are you? No idea. It's a secret. Yes, inside the floodlight, there is somebody. Chase. Oops. Okay, what, what was actually going on here? Uh, I would run if I were you, man. That's crap, that's crap. Let's see. Got a hit for ya, Oliver O'Brien. Guys that guarded a Militech prison protects Biggs. That snitching little, yeah, who, who screwed over our boys and you know what to do with snitches and people who protect them. Anyway, Olivia goes, Biggs loses his protection and his spot in solitary, then Bradley Costigan are inside, Chum gets his hands on him, simple better be. But they were here to hit somebody Prison guard working for Militech. Oh, Olivier. You. Okay, I guess you uh, keep protecting that guy who is testifying against the Tiger Claws. You, you keep doing that, man. Yet another situation in which a lot of collateral damage was done. A lot of people got killed for basically being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I, I managed to save their primary target, but uh, unfortunately I was too late for many of the others. I suspected organized crime activity, Crescent and Broad. Oh. I don't know why all the motorcycles by default have um, radios blaring. And here we are at the organized crime activity, and I still have not received the bri- Wait, that is because I'm not at the organized crime activity. Then why are there guards here already? All right, E91C, let's uh, do a, a little bit of scouting. There's the guy I have eyes on. Oh, there's another one. Great. A couple of things I can extract with, and a box for both of them. Wow, look at how many cameras are in this network. Jonin, okay, I'm kind of surprised she has not detected me yet. I'm guessing all these cameras and security systems belong to her. Oh, 
I think. So thanks uh, to the ability to mark things, I can actually gain my bearings, sort of. Break hold, Shintani Riki. Okay, and there's a lot of guys here. I mean, yeah, it's organized crime, but still, that's that is a lot of people. How did I have successfully traversed the entire? security network. Are all the cameras going to be friendly towards me? Let us very much hope so. Fuck! Almost pissed myself. <laughs> okay. Can we distract the other guy with this one? Yes, we can. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> Alright, so the camera is the camera is friendly. I still have not received the briefing for this. They're gonna wait for me to take out the bus and then the NCPD is gonna call and say, oh, by the way, thank you very much. Unfortunately, not all the cameras have been disabled. It would appear that it's only the one that I, that I exerted control over directly. Only that one becomes friendly. All the others are not friendly, even though I uh, sort of pass through them all. So that doesn't count. It's not about... How come this is not defended? It's not about uh, jumping through the cameras. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I had the feeling that there were more people there than I had accounted for. Mm, I have an idea. I don't know how well it's going to work. Okay, that guy has eyes on me. And I cannot... Well, can't I? What's going on behind them? Can I send them over there? No. What about them? Of course. It's always, it's always the wrong guy. It's always the wrong guy. I don't want you to be distracted. I want this guy to be distracted. There's so many delicious ways in which I can get rid of that one. But first, I have to basically take care of this guy. Oh, but he patrols. Uh, okay. He does patrol. Ah, oh, but he's still going to be looking in that direction. Seriously. Go ahead and take a look at that. Take a good hard look.
Okay, can we get this guy? That light? Oh, no, but we can get her. That is not what I wanted to do. But unfortunately, well, what are you gonna do? I mean, there is some uh, there is some trial and error involved in this whole gauging the distance. Okay, so I can get her all the way over here. Of course, I don't need to do that because she's standing really, I need that guy. She's standing really close to a convenient box. No, you definitely, you most definitely did not miss anything. That was 15 seconds of my life, I'm never getting back. Or more, if she just keeps standing there. Seriously, are you just going to stand there now? Do you not know how to get back to where you are? Okay. You know what? That's fine. That is completely fine. I don't I don't need to carry that other guy anywhere. You can just drop him where he is. And leave him there. Tattoo needle. Yeah, you, you hold on to that, you might need it. Yeah. There we go. Break some concrete with the guy's face or foot. By the way, he's gonna be hurting in the morning. Alright, so that was two and another three. So, so far five. We have a Joan in there, and we also have a camera. And I poke my cowardly face over this. I can see the camera, but I cannot. I don't have a line of sight, I guess, because of the trees. Yeah. Come on, really? How many people are there in there? Well, two that break hold. And one that has every implant ever. Now, I do need this Jonin to go down. Because I'm sure she will do some nasty things to me if she gets the opportunity. Two hundred and fifty-five street cred. Wow. And she was a tough lady. I mean, she still is. I shouldn't talk about people who are unconscious in the past tense. No, they're just not a threat at the moment. These guys were monitored by two different cameras. And one of them is kneeling looking at something. And the other one has his back turned, which is great. Oh. And no sooner had I said that and that guy decided, yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna be kneeling anymore. That makes me vulnerable. People can sneak up on me that way. There is a box there, and next to that is a micro. Okay, it's gonna be kneeling that way now. Okay, go ahead and maybe. How you look is all yeah, that yes, check that out. Check on that out. behind the speaker somehow hopefully that guy won't see the gun over there and wonder where his partner went what the I think I tripped on the microwave twice I cannot reboot his optics I have to sneak behind him Please, let me go. I cannot jump over the microwave. This is absolutely ludicrous.
Thank you, microwave, for being the worst microwave possible. Just the worst. I guess it had a lot of a lot of sharp edges or something, and I just kept stabbing uh, stabbing my th my toe on it, and um, and also losing the ability to speak. All right, so so far so good. I have taken out everybody except the main people I need to take out. So is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Now the good news is that two of them are facing away from me. The bad news is that there is a camera in there somewhere that is covering the room. This guy patrols back and forth, so I should be able to distract him with, a, you know, a, 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 ta a taco or something, a burrito or a Twinkie. Whatever these machines actually serve up. They all have, they all have the same basic uh, shape. Where is this camera? Is it up top somewhere? That's why I cannot see it. Let's go with that. Let's hope that's the case. And this guy, reboot optics. Oh, I'm looking at the police line, right? That's probably why. I cannot reboot his optics. I can't. Maybe nothing. Okay, let's hide behind the bar. All right, buddy. It's time for a free burrito. Yeah, you go check that out. Go grab yourself a snack. You look like you work out, so you can probably get hungry every three hours, right? Wow, another ridiculous amount of street cred. Someone almost detected me, but I'm not sure who. Okay, yeah, that works. That totally works. I mean, I thought there were only these two guys, but I don't think so. From closer inspection. Oh, yeah, there are a couple more up there. Wonderful. So, if we're gonna go after these two in close quarters, which will probably annoy everybody, we should. I probably need to, okay, so these stairs. That's why I don't have any guards over here. Because the way to come down these stairs is to first pass by their guards up top. Makes way more sense to be guarding that choke point than down there. Oh, there is a camera that I was missing. All right. Now. First things first. I have a box. I have a radio that can potentially be used to distract people. I could also... Let's not ping to see where the other guy is. No, not which protocol. Oh, he's right there. But I cannot select him. If that guy looks down, I am going to be screwed. Yep, there he goes. Of course, of course. Well, if I if I zap that floodlight when he comes down, that should be oh, she wrote for him. And now. What? Yeah. Combat. Really? Why? Why did this guy put me in combat? Because he was doing some funky movement there. And I guess he spotted me as I was grabbing him. Why can't they just walk up to the light and stop? 
not walk up to the light and start dancing around it as if they're executing some weird combat maneuver. Just walk up and, and stop and look at the light and just stand there. That's all, that's all that's required. Now these guys are all freaked out on the move. This guy's partner probably is as well. I, I could never mark them for some reason. Okay, here we go. You come out alone, we won't hurt you. I promise! Generous as that is, and as much as I don't believe you, you put optics. Check that out. Now, this guy almost bought it me as well. I mean, come on. I am behind you. Okay, I didn't damage the bike, so that's something. So I'm still not clear. Which way should I have come in into this area to receive the actual briefing? I still have not gotten it. What is up with that? Yeah, these guys are still looking around, that's not a problem. Out of the two of them, I definitely need the firearms guy to go down without firing a shot. The other guy, I think, is melee, and uh, he's gonna be tough to beat, but... Well, I'm lucky my chance is a lot better than against somebody with an actual weapon. Oh, and yet another camera. You guys don't think you went a little overboard with all the surveillance? Really? Is anybody gonna hear that? Anybody at all? I kind of need you to come this way. All right, let's uh, let's try this in a, in a more simple manner. So, start with that and then move you to the floodlight. So, little by little, step by step. Wow, he's part of it for a second, seriously. Did you see what kind of dance he did around, uh, around that speaker? He checked it out from all sides. He was like, oh, uh, something fishy is going on. You better make sure nobody's hiding behind the speaker. Need something on the other side to distract him with. Alright. Firearms guy has been neutralized. That was also the boss. Order transport daily for 15 people to grocery factory, 8 people to Whole Foods, when 25 to Biotechnica can be sick. Wow, I am not liking these guys' chances at a place called Biotechnica. Three to Masala Studios, six to Pierogi World, two gotta be smart to Yaiba. I think those are the manufacturers of the bike. Really, the bike that I bought was actually manufactured with slave labor. 13 to Tektronica. Seriously? I just cannot get a break in this world, man. Even, even just by buying modes of transportation, I am helping bad people do despicable things. I distract this guy again and pull him out. He is starting to get on my nerves. Nice gun. Oh, Are you just not being distracted at all? Is that what's going on? You're just gonna sit there in one direction. He's stuck on the couch, I bet. Yeah, break hold. Okay. Whatever. Alright, level up unfortunately, take those, and can I shut up this music, really trying to make money, it's just different flavors of money essentially, where is, is there like a radio or something, or is it just the loudspeakers, yeah the speakers blaring it, and I cannot shut these off, unfortunately. Alright, 
repair components? I'm gonna build them way more again. Can I help these people? No, I cannot. Looks like it's way too late for them. from Monday. What's up with these cages? What the hell you ordered them for? Gonna keep the workers there. Lock them up, nobody will run. Somebody around you already? Not yet. Yeah, you know why? They're illegals. Come here to work. Where they where are they gonna go? Down to the station so they could wait in line to get deported up with the cage. Seriously. You know, somebody has a little more sense. Yeah, hey, got a problem? No. Right. Inheritance. And yeah, so these guys were basically bringing in uh, smuggling people into Night City through the, uh, I'm guessing, uh, South California, North California border and then um, using them essentially as slaves. I don't think these guys were getting paid. Illegals, no rights, probably no papers, afraid that they're gonna get deported and uh, being exploited ruthlessly uh, to work at uh, all kinds of different corporations around the city. And some of them are probably used for um, Illegal BDs and whatnot. That uh, note about the studios there, that one seemed really shady. Also, the one about Biotechnica and those workers who didn't even need to be healthy. That, uh, I mean, that sounds like a death sentence, essentially. Yeah. They're, they're not worried about their health because those workers are never getting out of Biotechnica. Another place, uh, Jackie and I used to, to ditch the Arasaka uh, mercenaries at the very start of our adventure and it turns out that they were they also are terrible all right and another organized crime activity up there so and here we are at the site of the next organized crime activity and once again i am just not oh, it's a robot oh that's wonderful that is a wonderful How the heck am I going to take care of robots? Who are these guys? New shard read message, empty. Yes, obviously the robots are up to no good. Right, still empty. Unfortunately, I don't think that... I mean... I guess I could blind them and just sneak past all of them. Would that even, would that even work? Short circuit them. One C five five. Oh, this is gonna be a fun mission. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. It looks like it's gonna, it's gonna take a whole bunch of casts. I mean, at least three, probably four. Per robot. <laughs> I hope I don't have to clear this whole place, and I hope it's not just robots in there. I mean, one at the gate is fine. Okay, yeah, three casts. E9, 1C, E9. Alright, so that was the only robot. That's good. You are a person. That's great. Who appears to be coming towards me. Yes, yes he is. Ah, he saw the robot, so of course he's gonna drop in for a visit now. Well, buddy. Wanna check that out? No, no, you don't care. Reboot optics, I now don't have enough RAM. He's gonna discover the robot, and hopefully see where he's going to go on lockdown. Yeah, that's weird, right? 
know what else is weird? How you ignored that camera. Doing a little pirouette. Okay, so a few people got gunned down. This guy looks like he belonged to a Tiger Claws. I'm not sure about him. Might have been a Tiger Claw, might not have been. Alarm. Remote deactivation. I don't think it's on at the moment, so... Alright, camera control. That is one worker. Is that a drone? Yeah, a lot of automated defenses. Wait, what? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, robots just all over the place. This place is an absolute, oh, wonderful. An absolute nightmare. Considering that I'm relying on stealth takedowns, and as far as I know, robots are immune to it. Which makes sense. Cannot put them to sleep. Oh, another turret. Now the good news is that most of these guys are not terribly good at uh, locating suspects, as they put it. Okay, the fewer moving parts we have to make them better. Now, Wyvern drone, short circuit that, that's still alive. Okay, so two casts for that thing. Suspect. Yes, I heard you the first time. You are instructed to reveal yourself. What? How did How did it not do damage? What what is going on? I zapped it. It should have died. It did nothing. Oh, okay. There we go. So now it's gone. And you are a worker. Okay. So there are a few workers sprinkled in here for good measure. Instructed to reveal yourself. Okay, oh yeah, he's gonna be locating me, alright. Yeah, because I said that they, that they weren't too good at uh, actually locating me, and uh, sure enough... Okay, yeah, let's go. Wow, okay. Screw you guys. I guess some robots are, uh, some of these robots are netrunners or something. He must have pinged my location. How else could he have found it? Was there an indication that he was, uh, that he had that capability? I mean, mind you, even if there was, but what, what was I going to do differently? I have one way of dealing with robots in one moment. So there is nothing that I can do about it.
Uh, unfortunately, now I've lost. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Yeah, okay. There you go. This guy got bored. And decided, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna walk away. Ah, my old friend, the prompt. Come on. You're lucky I'm not putting you in the path of these boxes and, and then breaking the chain. Joker, he had a Joker card. Yeah, maybe the first time I've seen that particular bit of trash. Well, junk. Brass earrings. Those brass earrings. Retain value. Who knew? Epic components. Nice gum. That explains why it was so obscenely powerful. Oh, there was a box right there I could have used. Lead bracelets. I guess these little houses are just for show. Cannot actually get in there. That's unfortunate. Rosary. That is a weird thing to find. At a place like this. Turn that off. Worker. No affiliation. Oh, he's affiliated to this place, probably. Or rather affiliated with this place, not to this place. What the? Locating suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. No, I managed to locate me. He's now running after me. Probably gonna kill me. What? Fine, 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 fine. No. Oh, gosh. Oh, this place is an utter nightmare. Three to four cats per robot. And how many robots are in there? I heard at least three. Jeez. It's so it's so obnoxious that I don't I don't even want to do this. I don't, I don't even care about this place. I don't want to do this. Robot MK2. Okay, no affiliation. Charge jump. Use a pistol, and whatever that icon next to the pistol is. What does that mean? Is that the uh, I'm, I have the ability to find your location? What is what does that mean? Yeah. Okay. Oh geez, and the drone is still up. So I, I so I basically got brought back to the to the very start. That's wonderful. That is the best thing ever. Okay. Oh jeez. Who is revealing my position now? Come on. Was it you? Is it the drone? Does it matter? Okay, suspect. I didn't even hit him. Okay. Okay, that thing just is immune to damage. All oh, right, I don't regen. Um, Ram when I'm in combat. <laughs> yeah, this place is gonna be super annoying. Security area. I tell you what, um, 
even though I am getting experience for defeating these guys and loot and whatnot, it's just it's so inefficient it, when you cannot use takedowns. Doing this, slugging it out with the robots using uh, this what is it called? I, I I forgot the name of the the ability. Short circuit, yeah, short circuit. It's so inefficient. That guy just sits there and almost spots me. Seriously? I'm gonna try and sneak past these guys, disable a few a few turrets. I wish I could take control of the turrets and have them gun down all the robots. But unfortunately it's not in the cards. Right, right. Oh, that is not annoying. No. That is not annoying at all. It looks like another turret is hiding behind a corner somewhere. Wait a minute. Camera control. Do I have eyes on the turret? No, I do not. Worker. So I can't see the turret from here. Can I activate this thing? No. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Okay, suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Okay, suspect. Alright, screw all these guys. Oh jeez, there is a drone up here as well. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Okay, is that necessary? You are instructed to reveal yourself. Right, right. But I don't want to. Secure the area. Weapon drone. Okay, suspect. I'm in combat. That thing saw me. The wyvern freaking drone saw me. All that for nothing. I need to get to a computer or something that gives me the ability to disable security in this place. 175 meters and uh, they're still, okay, yeah. And they're still after me. Two hundred and seventy five meters, three hundred meters, still in combat. Ah, okay, there we go. Three hundred and fifty meters does the trick. Yeah, I'm thinking this place is just just a no-go. I mean, I can I do it? Absolutely I can. I can just uh, go in there, equip show circuit, zap each robot three to four times. When I get in combat, run away, save after each robot, so if I get killed, I don't lose any progress, and grind through, probably take about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to uh, take care of all the automated security. But uh, I gotta admit, I'm kinda wiped out as far as this episode is concerned. It's been a lot of BS, and, and yeah, I, I know that that all comes from the restrictions I've placed upon myself, but 
Now, part of the fun of this challenge is actually finding clever ways of getting through through places like this one. And in this particular case, I don't even know th that it's possible. So, who knows? Well, I'll explore that option uh, next episode. And if it turns out that there isn't a smart way to get through it, and I absolutely also am staying on top of the turret, and I absolutely have to kill all the enemies in there, well, all the mechanical enemies, then um, at that point I have a decision to make, and that is, do I even want to do this or, or not? Because can it be done? Yes. Is it going to take forever? Yes. Is it going to be boring? Yes. Well, we'll see. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, bye for now.